This video is brought to you by CAPE, the one source app to the world of mixed martial arts. Follow the link below to cape.tv with a K to sign up for updates and a chance to win a walk-on role in the next installment of the Kickboxer movie franchise. Whether you rooted for the Eagles or the Patriots, we can all agree that these ads were winners. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Super Bowl commercials of 2018. I'm the new spokesman. I'm employee of the month. It's not a competition. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're picking our favorite commercials released in conjunction with Super Bowl 52, whether they're funny, touching, or something else entirely. However, we won't be including trailers for movies or TV shows. Wait, hold up. This isn't a movie. No. It's a tourism ad for Australia. Yes. Number 10, Jeep Jurassic. Jeep. Super Bowl 52 not only included a preview of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, but also a commercial that paid homage to the original classic. Heck, Jeep even managed to cast Ian Malcolm himself, Jeff Goldblum. The ad starts off with a clip from the 1993 film, and then cuts to an older Goldblum, who once again must go faster with a T-Rex hot on his tail. How do you like it now, my friend? While it turns out the whole thing is only a daydream, the commercial lovingly recreates an iconic scene, with special effects that are actually quite impressive by Super Bowl standards. John Williams' timeless musical score is just the cherry on top, as the Jeep and the dinosaur ride off into the sunset. Number 9. Feel Something Again, Kia Stinger Steven Tyler follows up his Skittles ad from Super Bowl 50 with this rousing commercial for the 2018 Kia Stinger. With Dream On playing in the background, the ad finds a 69-year-old Tyler getting into the sports sedan. The musician proceeds to take the car for a spin in reverse. Coming to a screeching halt, Tyler exits the vehicle, looking not a day over 30, with adoring fans waiting to swarm him. This beautifully shot commercial is clever and effective, as it demonstrates how 365 horsepower can suddenly make an aging man feel like a young rock star. Above all else, though, it reminds us that the music of Aerosmith will never grow old. Number 8. Who wouldn't? Groupon. You're not only saving money, you're also supporting local business. This commercial is so straightforward, and yet so brilliant. Comedian Tiffany Haddish continues her winning streak as a Groupon super user. Haddish can't imagine people not liking Groupon, especially since it supports local businesses. Of course, there is one wealthy curmudgeon who would rather have a parking garage than see a small, family-owned business thrive. Fortunately, he gets his comeuppance through a priceless bit of slapstick. Yeah, it's immature and unbelievably simple, but the ad is guaranteed to leave you feeling good. What can we say? Few things in this world are funnier than a football in the groin. Oh, when you save in your neighborhood, it feels so good. It didn't feel good for him, no. <laughs> Download the app and save. Number seven, touchdown celebrations to come, NFL. You gonna work on that thing? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get it. Talk about having the halftime of your life. It's not uncommon for football players to take ballet classes to strengthen their muscles and improve their game on the field. That being said, we have a hard time picturing the NFL and dirty dancing going together. In this uproarious commercial, however, Eli Manning and Odell Beckham Jr. flawlessly pull it off. Playing I've Had the Time of My Life, the two New York Giants engage in a dance routine that would make even Johnny and Baby envious. In addition to being hysterical, the choreography is a ton of fun, inevitably working up to the legendary jump. Nobody puts Beckham in the corner. Number six, this is the Pepsi, Pepsi. This is the Pepsi that your father drank and his father drank before he met your grandmother. Pepsi has put out one unforgettable Super Bowl commercial after another. This retro ad is the ultimate throwback, showcasing the soda's greatest hits throughout several generations. With Jimmy Fallon narrating, the commercial takes us on a journey back in time. 
So, naturally, the DeLorean from Back to the Future makes an appearance. This is the Pepsi that's back from the future. If that's not enough nostalgia for you, it also hosts a slew of familiar faces, including Cindy Crawford, Ray Charles, Kyrie Irving, Jeff Gordon, Britney Spears, and Michael Jackson. All that's missing is Justin Timberlake, but at least he got to rock the Pepsi halftime show. Let's light it up tonight! No matter when you grew up, this is the Pepsi ad that'll speak to audiences of all ages. This is the Pepsi for every generation. Number 5. Wow! Pringles It turns out we've been eating Pringles the wrong way all this time. Rather than sticking with one chip, have you ever considered stacking three different flavors into one appetizing mouthful? You made barbecue pizza. Wow! 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 In this amusing ad, Bill Hader and company come up with the inspired idea to stack barbecue, pizza, and jalapeno Pringles on top of each other, thus creating a spicy barbecue pizza combo. The three can't help but marvel over their tasty innovation, but they've merely scratched the surface. According to Pringles, there are actually 267,720 different combinations to try. Wow. wow! Wow, you can stack different flavors? Nobody asked you, Kevin! To that, we just have to say, wow. Also, are we the only ones that want to see Hater in a war epic? Number 4. Human M&Ms Anyway, sometimes I wish I were human. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if the M&Ms were real people? Well, even if you haven't, there is no denying that Danny DeVito as Red is spot on casting. After almost being eaten yet again, Red's wish to be human is granted via a lucky penny. While he's still bald, short, and full of chocolate, Red is just ecstatic that nobody wants to have him for a snack. He's so excited that he forgets to look out for oncoming traffic and is sent flying across the street. Ah! Nobody wants to eat me! I'm the luckiest! <laughs> We guess DeVito's shell is even harder than an M&M's. Red eventually decides that he'd be better off as candy, resulting in a side-splitting payoff. I wish I were an M&M again. Ow. Number 3. Doritos Blaze vs Mountain Dew Ice Mountain Dew and Doritos No Super Bowl party would be complete without Mountain Dew and Doritos. When you bring these two brands together, it's an epic treat nobody can resist. In the red corner, you've got Peter Dinklage chowing down on a bag of Doritos Blaze. In the blue corner, Morgan Freeman opens a refreshing bottle of Mountain Dew Ice. As different as they might be, these two go together in harmony like Busta Rhymes and Missy Elliott, who also make cameos. New Mountain Dew Ice, a clear, refreshing lemon lime dew. In addition to being humorous and toe tapping, this lip sync battle is brilliantly shot and choreographed from start to finish. A song of ice and fire just took on a whole new meaning. Man, every time I come in, then I gotta set it, then I gotta go in, then I gotta get it, then I gotta blow in, then I gotta shut it, any little thing, and then I think it'd be doing because it doesn't matter because I'm gonna did it, did it. Doritos Blaze, a bold new flavor that brings the heat. Number two, Alexa loses her voice. Amazon. Amazon's Alexa lost her voice this morning, causing a Alexa lost her voice? How is that even possible? Amazon pulled out all the stops with their first Super Bowl commercial back in 2016, enlisting the likes of Alec Baldwin, Dan Marino, and Missy Elliott. The company has arguably topped themselves with their latest ad, packing in enough big names to fill an Ocean's Eleven movie. Alexa, show me a recipe for a grilled cheese sandwich. Pathetic! You're 32 years of age! In addition to Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, this commercial features appearances from Gordon Ramsay, Cardi B, Rebel Wilson, and Sir Anthony Hopkins. But while all of these celebs turn in hilarious work, they can't quite fill the void Alexa has left behind. Fortunately, it isn't long until she relocates her soothing voice. Thanks, guys, but I'll take it from here. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Presenting the all-new Lexus LS500. Long live the king. Watch this. Oh, well, somebody likes attention. Here's to the friends you can always count on. My friend, her son's a lawyer, but... My son, his bleep don't stink, so. That's better than being a lawyer. The power to do anything you can imagine is within you when you discover your real self. Um, we have all these beautiful avocados from Mexico, but where are the chips? I'm sorry? Oh, the chips. 
The chips are outside. Why are they outside? The chips are outside! <laughs> Number one, it's a Tide ad. Tide. David Harbour as a Tide spokesman? Well, we've seen stranger things. In fact, Harbour proved himself to be an MVP throughout several commercial breaks. Channeling Matthew McConaughey, Harbour almost tricks the audience into thinking they're watching a car commercial. Yeah, just a typical Super Bowl car ad. Right? It quickly becomes clear, however, that the actor is parodying various different commercials, hilariously building to the reveal that this is really a Tide ad. What? It's a Tide ad. Since Procter & Gamble owns numerous brands, he's also able to cross paths with Mr. Clean and the Old Spice Guy. Now every time we see clean clothes in a commercial, we'll be on the lookout for Mr. Harbor. I'm in a tight head. Nice pants. Get off my horse. This video is brought to you by Cape, the one source app to the world of mixed martial arts, where you'll find unlimited news and information on your favorite fighters and organizations.